Hey, it's Ben Hassel here, and here in this quick tip, we're going to look at how we move rows around in InDesign in the table that we've already created. So basically, I have uh, some changes I need to make to this table of moving this security service row up to just below rental income, and we're going to have a quick look at how we do that. So the first thing uh, we need to do is just copy this. So basically, when I'm selecting my table, I need to make sure that I double click into one of the cells and then highlight it all um, so that it turns black like this. And then we'll go to Edit Copy or Command and C to copy uh, these two rows. And then we'll come up to our row where we need to insert it. Now, if we just go ahead and do a straight paste, then we're gonna get this horrible thing happening which we don't want. So what we need to do is basically insert some rows below this row before we paste it. So we'll right click and go to insert and row and what we're copying is two rows so we're going to create the same number of rows as we're copying so two rows and we'll do it below the selection we already have so we'll click OK and now to paste it in and get it to match we'll select that and then go to edit and paste and because we have the same number of rows, the same number of columns, it will match that nicely. So you can see we've pasted that in and now all we need to do is go ahead and remove the original rows um, and we can do that by selecting those original rows and right clicking and going to delete and row and it will delete those original rows. So hopefully that's helpful if people are trying to move around cells and columns or rows in Adobe InDesign. And if you have any questions about Adobe InDesign, Adobe Photoshop or Final Cut Pro, then please do leave a comment below and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.